Eric Psycho's for creative. Oh, he keeps stabbing him. So confirmed. Stu is a power bottom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It hurts, but he's taking it. You just gotta breathe, baby. You just gotta breathe oh, through it all. Oh my god. Hey, Freddy Pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We're back, and we are ready for our annual rewatch of our favorite franchise. And that is Wes Craven's Scream. Mm, a masterpiece. Honestly, just a lesson in horror, okay? A lesson in filmmaking. A lesson mm. in being the best movie ever made. Honestly, a lesson in Final Girls. Oh my god, most importantly, that. Mm. Wow. With the hype surrounding Scream 6, the trailer dropping oh so soon. We're filming oh this the God. day before Scream 6 trailer drops. The hype is real. So, you know, we thought it is time to start our Scream marathon. So we will be watching all five of the Scream movies leading up to the sixth. Um, and then we will do a commentary on the sixth. Because honestly, we're going to go see them in theaters. So yes. We have to, huh? Like, listen, we're telling you now, we will not be reacting to Scream 6 freshly. Like, we will be there opening night mm-hmm. to see Scream 6. Um, but there's going to be plenty of Scream 6 content when it comes out yep. and we will do a commentary as soon as it comes out on digital. Oh, I'm so excited. Literally giddy just thinking about it. I am oh my so God. excited for the return of our girl Gail Weathers. Also Kirby Reed. The Carpenters who oh I have not God. stopped thinking about since January. Honestly. Like two of my favorite horror movie characters of all time and like just knowing that we're getting them back and they're going to be like stronger than ever. Or maybe weaker, like, actually, we don't even know that. It's going to be good. You know, we forgot to mention the Meeks twins. Can't forget. Oh, my God. How (sighs) could we forget? It's going to be such a good movie. But you know what? We're going to go back to where it all started. So, uh, Mm. I'm giddy, but I'm also a little nervous because, like, the Scream fandom is quite a fandom. Oh, they are very passionate about Scream, as are we. And, you know, we have some hot takes. So, get ready for the tea. Yes. Um, I don't know how some people are going to feel about um, some of our thoughts about this movie. Um, It's going to be interesting to find out, but let's see. Let's take a stab at it. Um. (sighs) Oh. And here we go with the most iconic opening of all time. Ever. Who is this? Who are you trying to reach? Me. We had a date. What number are you trying to reach? Well, I think you have the wrong number. I love how she just, like, she's like, bye. Like, doesn't even give it a second thought. Instantly. So why'd you dial it again? You're forgiven. Bye now. Wait, <laughs> Like, queen of, like, so not putting cute. up with anyone's shit. She said, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. She's, like, so, like, she's, like, trying to enjoy her Friday night. Friday, Friday, getting down. <laughs> Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I don't think. I'll tell you anything you want, baby. Honestly, Roger L. Jackson has one of the sexiest voices in cinema. He does. He's hot. Is Ghostface a daddy? (laughs) Ghostface is the daddy. Like scary movies. Uh huh. Love him. Halloween. Honestly, the most iconic the opening of all time, but also the most iconic sweater of all time. Oh, truly. I mean, it has spawned multiple iterations of people wearing this kind of sweater. Yes. And, you know, she did it first. Mm. Okay. The blueprint. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Freddy, that's right. I like that movie. Like, I'm glad that she has the intuition to lock the doors, but, like, it's a little late, bitch. Oh, yeah. Like. No. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know? Don't act like you don't know. know who I'm looking at. <sighs> he's shady for that. Mm. Like, he knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Love the back porch lighting. Mm. Rich people. Oh my god, I know. I'm like, is the dad, like, can he adopt me? Is there room for one more? He's pretty hot. Wesley Becker. Exactly. Girl, okay, I know that she's, like, in distress, but remove the popcorn from the stove. It has always bothered me It so kills bad. me. It kills me. Mm. Like, this, that was her chance. You listen, you little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish, mm. understand? That shot of her looking through the window is so chilling. This whole opening, like, it's it's so well written, but it's also so well directed. And well acted, like, Drew really... This is truly 
Oscar-worthy performance. The tears. It's so good. Like, you truly feel like you are in her shoes. Who's there? I'm calling the police. <laughs> and it's also, like, a little bit campy. Oh, it's, and, like, <laughs> it's not even a little bit. It's very campy. I fucking love it. You've had your fun now, so I think you better just leave or else. Or else what? Or else my boyfriend will be here any second and he'll be pissed when you find out. Oh, Steve. Boyfriend. I love Rip, you. Steve. I boyfriend. <laughs> it's so it's sad, but oh fuck! Like honestly, I want that to be played at my funeral. Like people are like walking up to view me in my casket, and it's just a loop of her screaming that. This is so depressing. And it's like it's so good, and we love horror, so we're like rooting for it. But her performance is so phenomenal that you like you feel it. And you feel sad that you are excited to watch her fucking die. It's a very conflicting thing you've done here, Kevin Williamson. Yes. And Wes Craven, like, both of them. Turn off the light, you'll see what kind of game. And Steve is really cute. They always oh kill my the God. cute boys first. I know, I know. I would have loved to see what he looked like with that duct tape on his mouth. I ask a question. If you get it right, and she's barefoot. I uh, know. And like, why isn't she running to get like a weapon? Like, she should have gotten a knife already. Honestly, hang up yeah. and like, okay, he's gonna go to the cafe anyway. So like, exactly. You know, call my mom. Yes, exactly. Like, who knows what could happen? Name the killer in Friday the Jason! 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 Oh, honest mistake. She's just in a state of distress, you know. I'm sorry, she's a little bit of a flop for that one. Like, everyone knows that Mrs. Voorhees is the fucking killer. And it's like... Ugh, really, what's the point of killing Steve? Like, she's gonna die anyways. But it's like, just t let's terrorize her as much as possible before we off her. Just because they're fucking dickheads. Also... I wanted to say, the camp of this began when we saw her in that Scarface bob. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> I love the bob. Truly, she is the moment. She is mother. Oh, and she looks good in it, too. So. No, she, like, actually Serving looks looks fucking sexy. Mm -hmm. It's True. like, the bob is my mom. What's your name, B.O.B., so they calling you Bob? Stop playing, you know that I'm known for the bob. What door am I at? Oh, as if she's supposed to know. That's it. That place looks huge. There's no way that house only has two doors. Oh, no. Ooh. And she bolted. Like, we love that. We love that she fucking took off. But there were some mistakes made. And the, f the thing is still on fire. I know. Like, honestly, she should take it off of the stove and fucking throw it at him. Yeah, like, catch him on fire. Girl. And, like, just now, so she knows that he went that way, so, like, go the opposite way. Like, the door is right there. Mm -hmm. Like, why is she going so slow? Well, she doesn't know there's two of them, so it's not like she would get that far. But, like, we still love you, Casey. It's okay. People make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Listen, asshole. And, like, she's just standing there. She is oh, just yeah. standing there. Shout out to Marco Beltrami for this fucking score. And the score is lazy. Like, I have to pop my ass every time because it's that fucking good. Mm. Peaks and valleys, honey. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. So close. Girl. Like. Those seconds are precious. Mm -hmm. What could have been had she not stopped? Here we go. Mm. This is the hardest part for me to watch. I hate this part right here. I hate this part. Ooh. It's the way the blood starts pooling out. I it's know. just like this really is so gruesome. And her fucking aloof parents that are just like, "Lottie da, just got back from the country club." Like they really wouldn't hear her next to them, like gurgling and stuff. I know. Just like Jesus. have no idea what's going on. Oh. Finally, someone's taking the popcorn <laughs> off the stove. Thank you. The house only had to burn down, honey. Casey! Casey! This mom 
she's one of my favorite characters in this movie. You know, she really does what she has to do. It's like so fucking sad, but the actress just fucking goes for it. And this shot. Mm. How is she still holding onto the phone? She said, I will not let go for dear life. It's like just sitting in her palm and you mm -hmm. know, it's just being dragged along mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. <laughs> yeah. And this dad is kind of hot, like it has to be said. Daddy. Now that is fucked up. That is one of the most fucked up shots in a movie ever. I mean, that's cinema. And here we have the iconic inventor of Final Girls, Sydney Prescott. Mm, inventor of bangs, honestly. Honestly, inventor of little nightgowns. <laughs> like, what? I love her in this little white nightgown, like. I feel like I need to get into my first controversial opinion now, which is that I don't think Billy Loomis is hot. For as many men that I think are hot, Billy is not one of them. Are you okay? That is a little controversial. I think that Billy's hot. I just, I can't with like the hair. It's the hair for me. Maybe he's not hot right now. He just needs to be covered in blood for you. Mm, to I'll have to reevaluate. Here's the thing. Daddy Prescott? Mm. Now that's a man. Okay. We love a daddy in a jean jacket. And he seems rich too. I mean, look at that house. Oh, I mean, come on. Let's go. Billy. I feel like Billy already from the get go is showing like psychotic tendencies. Yeah. And she does not pick up on it. No, he's fully lost it. I'm surprised that he could go a whole year after killing someone before like striking again. Mm -hmm. Like I'm surprised he had that much self control. Two years ago. I hate this manipulation shit that he does. Mm -hmm. Like so fucking just disgusting. And she falls for it so easily. I mean he's He's cute. You you hate him? He's a sexy serial killer? I just, it's the greasy hair. Like, I don't know how any of y'all can get over that. Like, look, ew. I mean, he's a greaser. Honey, <laughs> he's not a T-bird, okay? He would never be accepted in. She would be a pink lady, though. Know that. Can y'all get a Billy Rumis, please? This is not working for me. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm. Hate it, hate it. Nope, nope, nope. We would oh, like to see it. Please let me know what your daddy's gonna do. <laughs> hey, about the, uh, the sex stuff. No, I'm not trying to rush you at all. Oh, please, you're only trying to kill her over it. <laughs> hey, sorry that I just tried to rush you, but I'm not rushing you. That's not what I'm doing. Hey, Billy, did you settle for a PG-13 relationship? He'll settle for whatever you give him. Mm, he doesn't even deserve that, honestly. <laughs> he doesn't deserve her. No, no, no. He needs to fuck off. She just is so fucking stunning. I would watch Top Story just for her. Oh, I would be the number one stand. I love that Tatum comes in with the tea. Like, that is a friend that you want and need in life. Like, she's not leaving out the gory details. You're gonna find out everything. Mr. Winkler. God, Mr. Dewey. Oh my god. Look, oh my god. Dewey Look long is and skinny. So sexy. I'm like foaming at the mouth over here. <laughs> Listen, usually we say a cab, but maybe. Slay cab. Exactly. <laughs> but Hen Henry Winkler, too, like. Henry Winkler mm. is a handsome gentleman. Like, that's my granddaddy. Don't y'all forget it. Honestly, one of the best scenes in this franchise. Well, you know that everyone that goes to this school is rich because they have a fucking fancy fountain. My school barely even had a fucking water fountain, bitch. This <laughs> case and Steve were completely hollowed out. How do you get someone? Mm, how do you? Please don't tell me. Something I love about this scene is how close up they are to all of their faces. Mm -hmm. You really get to read into uh, you know, their, their motives. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're getting a good idea of who everyone is. Because we're so up close and personal. I killed her, it would certainly improve your high school kill. Randy, listen, he's not my favorite, but he clocks them. And I love that he does not, like, hide from that. Yeah, no. The whole movie. He points fingers and he keeps them pointed. 
Thanks, buddy. The homoeroticism between the two of them, you can already feel it. It's my favorite thing about this movie. Y'all know they were fucking. And if you don't think so, then I have some news for you. Shut up, Stu. I hate it. Oh, oh my god, he's so cute tongue. though. The dimples, honey. His tongue was so long. So long. One thing though, I'm like, Sydney takes the bus. Like, She's rich as fuck, but she doesn't have a car. Girl. I'm confused about that. The view, like. Mm hmm. Holy Fucking stunning. Shit. And I love that they have her just dressed in like a very casual gray sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. It really just does give her the like girl next door vibe mm -hmm. so well. Because I feel like she kind of has like her fashion is more defined as the series goes. Right. Because this is like kind of a, a blank slate in a way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's very neutral. Mm hmm. That suit is so bold, but it fucking pops. Mm. Poor Sydney. Horrible. Like, she cannot escape the triggers. No, and she, like, she never will. Like, this is just, oh, like, ever. a sign that it's gonna be haunting her forever. Honestly, you know, maybe it's great that she's not in Scream 6, so she can have a little rest. I know. You know, give the girl a break. I know. She's, like, safely at her home with her man and her kid, and she hears that there's Ghostface, and she's like... Fuck that shit. Yep. Tatum, just get in the car. Oh, <sighs> mm. Oh. She's so cute. You she really is. Do you like scary movies, Sydney? His voice is so chilling. Mm -hmm. Truly the chilling. Is, who am I? The question is, where am I? And Nev's acting is so good. Like the switch yes. from just kind of like thinking that she's goofing around with her friend to like, I'm gonna fucking call this dude's bluff. Mm -hmm. Can you see me right now? And she's so smug. Like she's so brave. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Yep, here she goes. <gasps> Like, she fucking doing? popped off with this Hello? one. Tell Tatum to hurry up, okay? Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. This now, that's the worst thing to fucking say. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck you, bitch. change in her face. Mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> She's a fucking fighter, dude. Like, he really is just doing stuff to them just to fucking be a bitch. You're already killing them. If he really wanted her dead, he could have killed her right there. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that there was ever any intention for her to die in this scene. They just wanted to scare her. Uh, her blue phone. I know, we it's so pretty. A periwinkle moment. <laughs> the fucking taste, honey. The fucking times. Like, mm. calling 911 on your desktop? Well, son, she did what she had to do. <laughs> Honestly, like, so obvious. It's like... Just makes me want to fucking vomit, honestly. But I fucking love that she a assumes that it's him and then runs. Dude. Okay, and then fucking Dewey, like, why the fuck? Well, why was he holding it like that? Because Wes Craven wanted a jump scare. Billy looks kind of cute bent over that car, I would mm, say. That's the only time that I would ever even consider it. I'm sure Stu loved that. <laughs> I just love seeing Billy Loomis getting manhandled. <laughs> that's cinema. Dazzling images on a huge silver screen. Sound that I can feel. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Jesus, the camera, hurry! My name isn't Jesus. Sydney, is that you in there? <laughs> She will do anything for the exclusive. Sydney, you just got attacked after your mom was murdered a year ago. What do you have to say? But I respect it. Like, I respect the hell out of it. Bold and the beautiful baby. Exactly. Just like that hair, bitch. And the suit. There's something just so elegant about her. So while she's asking these, like, exclusive questions, it's just like you almost want to tell her. Mm -hmm. She, like, makes you feel like you're important, mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. But really, she, like... You're important but because really you're helping important. her. Yeah, like you, you're important because you're helping her get ahead. And really, she could stomp all over me in those little, <laughs> those little holes. Billy's dad can get it too. I don't give a fuck. Sure. <laughs> This interrogation is not hot enough. Like, I need you to ask the burning question. Right, right, right. 
And they, they let him off. They're not trying hard enough. Like, we wanted sweat, tears, passion. Like, we needed more. Sheriff, I didn't kill anybody. He sounds like fucking Texan. I didn't kill anybody. Like, did you go to my fucking high school, bro? Isn't there a back way out of this place? Yeah. Gail's mind. Like, she always is searching to find out what she can do to get that tea. Well, she is just one step ahead of everyone else. So, how's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh, I'll look for it. She's so hurt. I'll send you a copy. Ooh. Gail's a fucking bitch for that too though, like, her fucking mom died, bro. I love Gail, but at this moment I'm saying fuck you, Gail. Oh no, she's a total bitch. Bam, Sid, super bitch. I love Tatum's pajamas, they're so, so cute. Super bitch is my favorite line in this whole movie. Mm -hmm. I fucking love that. Was there, Tatum? He was destined to have a flaw. I knew he was too perfect. He's just a murderer, but I mean... Telephone, honey. Take a message. No. How's she doing? <laughs> Every single thing that fucking Rose McCowan does is so funny. No. The cinematography too is so funny. Oh, someone's getting fingered for sure. <laughs> yeah, just ask Billy and Stu. The way that this song has become just like a part of all of our lives. Sydney Truly Trust a staple in the horror community. Oh, Cotton. Cotton wear me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cotton is sexy. Not that I can stand Cotton, honestly, but... Yeah, he's hot. I love him. Everyone in the movie's hot. Everyone. But it's like, I feel like most of them aren't even, like, traditional hot. Yeah. But they're all just fucking, like, Stunning, striking, mm -hmm. you can't take your oh, eyes off of them. So how does it feel to be almost brutally butchered? <laughs> oh my god, Linda Blair coming Fucking in Linda. with the hot team. Like, where's the Oscar nom for that? I'm not here to fight, I just need to talk. Kenny? She should have kicked her ass again. You. you owe me. I owe you shit. You owe my mother. Your does she murder was She kind of does. Somebody she's is exploiting like, her mom's death for fame and money. Uh, she's trying people? to expose the truth. There's also that. Okay. Wanted cotton it's in fun. jail. They're gonna gas him. A book is not gonna change that. So Your many close-ups in this movie. Mm -hmm. I never noticed that until now. He's lying. She never would have touched him. Honey, she touched him the same way I would. Okay. Oh he left his coat in York. The same someone who planted it in Cotton's car, framing him. Why does Gail take so strongly to Cotton's story? Like, what made her be like, yeah, this is the hill I'm dying on? She just, she has the mind for it, I feel like, you know? Her investigative journalism, just yeah. like, she's like, I'm right. Those murders are related. Obviously her right. mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. She knows. like, it's very impressive that she was right. She is a big part of freeing him in the end. If I'm right about this, I could save a man. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? Iconic. And never change, girl. No, she never will. She does, but she doesn't. That's cruel. That's so fucking, like, just rude. It's stupid. Sydney! John! And he's just fucking lurking around the school, like, so creepy. Like, go crawl back into your coffin, bro. I'm sorry, he looks like a gerbil. It has to be said. See? Or a hamster. A hamster. He looks like he should be driving a Kia Soul. I could see him as a hamster. Like, I think he's hot now. Or even in, like, The Craft, I think he's hot. I'm talking about specifically this movie. I think it's the parting of the bangs. I hate it. Is your brain leaking? My mom was killed. I can't believe you're bringing this up. No, it's been a year. One year tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think it's time you got over that. It's He's like, it's been 365 <laughs> days. She's not lying in a okay. coffin somewhere. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. It's it's a bad analogy. Mm. It's just that I want my girlfriend back. Too bad, sweetie. She's gone yeah. for good. I'm sorry. The fucking gaslighting, it's just insane. You and your perfect existence. What? I think my favorite quality about Sydney in, in this movie is that she just like never really takes her foot off of Billy's neck. Oh no. Like even though, I mean obviously she does, you know, give in to him and like she does like kind of believe him, but then she's also actively like kind of stating publicly that she thinks that he might have something to do with it. Right. And like I feel like in a lot of movies the girl is just automatically like no, he didn't do it. He would never 
So that's just refreshing. I thought you were going to say it's her tendency to run away. I mean, I do love a track star. <laughs> Truly, though. <laughs> this is like the second scene she's run away from in the past five minutes. Sometimes so. you just have to fucking run away from your problems, I mean, okay? I like, I, I respect it. She gets the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking runs too, like, mm -hmm. it's so funny. You make me so sick. Oh. Your entire habit inducing thieving, whoring generation disgusts me. Just savagely murdered. And this is the way that you show your compassion and sensitivity, huh? Those scissor sound it's effects, I never noticed how campy they are. <laughs> it was very loud. Very sharp. Fairness would be to rip your insides. Oh my god. He is really hot. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm sorry I keep bringing it up, but... I could hear people getting bored with me, but I couldn't stop. It just kept coming up like word vomit. She was never attacked. I think she made it all up. What did she lie about? For attention, the girl has some serious issues. Nev's acting in this scene, I think, is one of is her very doing? best. Like, what is it's Sydney so good. It's so cold. What's the point of saying all this shit, you know? Other than to be bitches. Honestly, they're just projecting, you know. Nev. <laughs> it's so funny and it's so sad at the same time. It's such a great scene. She's so good. Both of them are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then you got Nev acting against this bathroom stall like... Oh. Fucking duo of the century. Pathetic. I just hate that they made her feel bad about herself mm -hmm. when she's already so down. This bathroom's fucking dirty. I know, like, that's fucking gross. Don't y'all have janitors? Okay, those toilets have not been cleaned ever. Never, literally never. Where is the janitor? I'm not convinced that they have any janitorial staff working at this school. But were Billy or Stu wearing black jeans? I don't know. Like, you're really gonna kill her in the bathroom? No, I think they're just trying to scare her. Here she goes. Running again. 17-year-old Casey Becker and her boyfriend Stephen Orth have already lost their lives. <laughs> Who's next? And she says it with a smile. Literally a grin on her face. Because otherwise she's going to be stuck reporting on fucking little seven-year-old soccer game or the county fair or something. We can't have that. We've got to have blood, guts, and gore. Exactly. Baby. She is praying for blood. Oh, the sneak attack. Gail Weathers, field correspondent, top story. This is a moment. Honestly, just... Oh, I'm getting emotional. You can immediately feel the chemistry between them. Because it's not acting, baby. No. You know, Jim and study I proved to be most popular amongst males 11 to 24. I guess I just missed you. <laughs> Of course, you don't look a day over 12. <laughs> oh my god. Just fucking reading him for Phil. Kizu, 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 because he's psycho. <laughs> what was he doing? Just picking flowers from the school garden? He wants to seem unassuming. I know. It was really cute. And romantic. Like, if he gave me that flower, I would be ripping his shirt off right there. I would truly just Totally protect your old book. Nice. See, I think Stu is hotter than Billy. Oh, I do too. He's really cute. <laughs> Why the fuck did he put the mask on? Like, honestly, so, weird behavior. The mask in this movie is so small. Like, mm -hmm. the jaw is so tiny mm -hmm. comparatively. Damn little shits. Would you call me? <gasps> oh. That is so fucking good. Wes Craven, just so fucking iconic, <laughs> and he's so cute too. Just no shame. I fucking and love it. I love how the the sweater was so bright red and green. So like, bright. It did not fit in with this school at all. Mm -mm. And okay, so there's our janitor. What the fuck has he been doing? Because I saw that bathroom. I mean, he's been directing this movie. <laughs> he didn't have time. Oh my god. Oh. Awful. Mmm. Shot. It's so good. It's so good. This is so nostalgic. I'm sad. I want to go in here. What's that werewolf movie 
movie with E.T.'s mom in it? The Howl of Horror, straight ahead. Okay. Put some respect on D. Wallace's name, bitch. E.T. Oh, and cool. then fucking Casey Becker, honey, she's your star. <laughs> Miss Gertie. He didn't do anything. You're such a little lap dog. He's got two of them. Randy goes dog. again. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Obviously, Shaggy no popped out there. Mm-hmm. This well, character is kind of a precursor to Shaggy in That's a way. The, the chaos of it all. Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with him. What, she's saving herself? That's a wishful Maybe. thinking, Randy. Do you think Sid would go out with you? Boy. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. At all. Oh no. my god, Matthew Willard. <laughs> He's so fucking funny. I think it's her father. He's a great face yeah, actor. Mm-hmm. The and with these close-ups that Wes Craven has going on, like, dead. it really suits his, body will come popping his up acting glass. style the best. Mm-hmm. Gouged out, fingers cut off, teeth knocked out. See, the police yeah. are always off track with this shit. <laughs> if they watch Palm Night, they'd save time. There's a Their formula chemistry here. is really good, too. A very mm-hmm. simple formula. Everybody's a suspect. <laughs> oh, to be one of those background actors. I know. They didn't know how iconic they were going to be. Huh? Hi, Billy. Maybe your movie freaked mind lost its reality button. You ever think of that? What would be your motive? It's the millennium. Motives are incidental. Good worry, my man. Are you telling me that's not a killer? Talk you quick. I did. But damn it. <gasps> Should be stressful. Oh, don't get me worked up licking that ice cream cone. <laughs> Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott. Sydney's father. Mm. Well, no way Wes Craven was wrong for this. Mm. He knew what he was doing. Or was he absolutely right? <laughs> he knew exactly what movie he was making. If he's not picked up by morning, then we'll do a house to house. The one thing that bothers me is like he's getting cigarette smoke on his ice cream. It's disgusting because he would be able to taste it. Yeah. Also, like, bro, get your smoke out of my fucking face. And you're literally. And this is your sheriff? Your sight. Not for yes, long. Sir. No, my sheriff. Not with Dewey on the prowl. Love that Dewey drops them off. That's so cute. He said, I'm the cop, but I'm dropping you off at a teenage party with illegal alcohol. Have fun! Oh, girl. Jump scare upon jump scare. They really tried it. Well, you just never know when or where a story will break. Mm. Not much of a story here. She's a snoop. She's a sleuth. Honey, she's a professional. I'm gonna take the party out. Do you mind if I join you? (laughs) David is so good too because he's so goofy, but you kind of take him seriously at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel confident that in his arms, I'll be safe. Why is he wearing a robe at his party? I mean, it's just the sense of like <laughs> entitlement. It, he thinks he's bigger than he is. He's the know? king of the house. Mm-hmm. Dewey. Dewey's the real king. What is she doing here? She's with me. And he's so proud. I know. Not thinking about the fucking complexities of the situation. You know, you really dread this moment the entire movie because I don't want to watch this girl get stuck in the garage door. Mm-mm. I hate it. She's so funny. Obviously, like, the scene, it's iconic. Girl, she, get out. Yeah, you did it. She and Courtney are really, like, the energy of this movie mm-hmm. in the first two-thirds. Mm-hmm. Like, Sydney is just, like, a stable, calm presence throughout, and then obviously the, the guy's at the end. Well, really, she's serving the sass, you mm-hmm. know, and once she's killed, it gets more surreal. Mm-hmm. It becomes more of a reality mm-hmm. to Sydney, mm-hmm. and just, it's so dreadful. Uh-uh. Oh, I love the glitteriness of the robe. It's, it's so, so sparkly it's and gay. It's so gay, yeah, it's so, so gay. <laughs> Like, don't tell me that they're not fucking gay. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless victim? Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. <sighs> Honestly, she should have been. <laughs> Cut, Casper. That's a wrap. What the hell are you doing? Oh, Ooh, he wanted to scare her. It's just like, why? You're gonna kill her! Like, it just goes back to them being cruel. Right in the skin. Tatum is so iconic for this. Like, she really tried. Oh, girl. 
Like, just squeeze through, you know? Mm, it was never happening. Ooh. Her poor ribs must have fucking hurt. I know. And that is so fucked. Oh! That last yeah. shot of her fucking head being squeezed. Squished like a gusher. Literally okay. like a fucking goddamn grape. Just left her fucking hanging there for people to find like a party favor. Mm. Hmm. Really? Hey. I was hoping I could talk to Sid alone. You know, if Tatum sees you here, she'll drop blood. Oh, I think it'll friends? be the other way around. Maybe you guys yeah. can talk. It's okay, we do need to talk. Hmm. I just... He gets on my fucking nerves. What's Leatherface doing here? Randy is me! It's just crazy that he really thinks he has a chance with her, and I really don't see it at all. But no. You know, he's just delusional. It's okay. Yeah. I have never really found myself, like, relating to Randy until now when I realize that he really is just fucking dragging them, and I love that. Because both of those guys get on my last nerve. Oh, and here's the fucking blue flannel, baby. The killer's wardrobe. Okay. No, really, I, I'm the one who's been selfish. Sydney. Uh. Watching the two of them interact here when he's just gaslighting her, it's really hard because... You just feel so bad for her. She's so hard on herself, and I'm like, no, bitch, you're fine. Your boyfriend is literally a, a fucking creep. Which, I mean, yeah, you know, that's good. You know, she's having a revelation. Mm -hmm. One that she needs to have. Really? Well, especially when it's all his fault. Yeah, like, she never needed to know all this stuff about her mom, mm -hmm. I guess. Jody Foster in silence, and then what happens when she keeps having flashbacks of her dead father. Girl, he compared his relationship to you to The Exorcist and now Silence of the Lambs. Like, when do the flags turn red, honey? Honey, when do you realize you're the lamb and he's trying to silence exactly. you? Exactly. Oh, oh, that's my least favorite part of this movie. She's kissing the thumb that like, just killed Tatum. Where have those fucking thumbs been? Because... Uh, up to that. That's, <laughs> that's that. all I was gonna say. Like, I don't want to know what his fingers were doing Bes between Stu and Sam and Tara's mom. Like, I don't know what he has going on. Honestly, by awareness. Like, come on, Billy. Biley. Ew. Oh my god, I cannot believe that she's about to fuck him. I know. I mean, it's awful. Don't you know the rules? What rules? <gasps> Let's hear the rules. Number one. You can never have sex. Oh my god. His tongue. Stu loves the tongue. And, you know, Stu knows that his girlfriend is dead. That's why he's flirting with all these girls. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. He said, I'm a free man now, bitch. See, you push the laws and you end up dead. Okay, I'll see you in the kitchen with a knife. Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay to join me? I'd love to. I understand why he's asking her, but shouldn't he not be involving her? Oh, he really shouldn't. Isn't this like police right business? Now. Like, she has no really right to be going with him. Like, obviously, we're glad she did, but. Oh, God. And, like, do we really want to watch this poor we, virgin get yeah. fucked by a monster? No, like, we did not want to see it. We didn't ask to see it. We don't need to see it. But that booty, though. <laughs> he does have a nice booty. Booty, booty, booty. So amazing. Sydney deserves so much better than this. Just knowing that he got her to do that before he died, like. And he did yeah. it to her mom too, so like. That's uh, fucking sick. I love that Jimmy Lee Curtis is in Scream. Like it's just uh, iconic. She truly is like every horror movie. There's a little piece of her in, in every movie. A little piece of her trauma. The fact that they're all desperate to go see him breathe, hanging from the goalpost. Very strange. What the fuck? Send them all to group therapy. Send them all to hell. I'm sure I'm coming fast. Get, freeze! Bro, get out of like, what? what are you doing? <gasps> oh, can he roll on top of me like that? Deputy Dewey on duty on top of me. <laughs> Damn. What? What is it? This is Neil 
You rolled right into a crime scene. Yeah, they fucking stumbled upon that. Okay. Look at him over there. Trying to be sexy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really trying. Honestly, he might he must not have fucked her very well because her she don't have bed head. No, her hair looks great. And his just looks same as normal. I don't see any fingers that Actually, ran through that hair. It looks a little extra crusty. Ew. <laughs> That's just because he hasn't washed it in a few extra days. Sheriff sure, Burke called your dad. I saw him. When I called, I didn't get an answer. Hmm. Oh, she's figuring you out, honey. Mm hmm. As we knew she would. I was just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. You know, using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. It's all. Clocked. <laughs> You're a little obvious, Billy. Billy, more like silly. <laughs> she just read him like a fucking kindergarten baby book, bitch. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh my god. Sydney. Oh my god. Billy, Not down. this setup. Oh my oh. god. Oh, the dramatics. <laughs> That was more dramatic than the play she does in the sequel. <laughs> yeah, maybe Billy should have played Cassandra. The way oh she has God. to run through this house that she, like, you know, I don't see her spending a lot of time in Stu no. house. No. So she's like, doesn't know Figuring it out go. on the go. Oh, she, uh, straight out the window on, like, she could have broke her neck. Who fucking cares, she said. This is why we love Sydney. Like, she's brave. the bitch doesn't give up. She's not afraid of heights. Mm. Oh, she's lucky. But yeah, the boat. That would have fucking hurt, though. I mean, I'm sure she landed on, like, a sea or a steering... Something, you know. Back broken. Yeah. But I'm sure her back's already broken from carrying this fucking relationship. We are destroying everyone's property, bitch. She said, fuck your white picket fence American <laughs> dream. <laughs> Randy Flop. Mm. You hate to see it. Ooh. Kenny. I loved Kenny. Poor guy. And that's how you know Sydney is like a real final girl. She is able to escape out of situations where she's not familiar with the territory. Yeah. She should not have been able to get out of that van away from him, and yet she still did. And here these motherfuckers are running through the countryside. Literally just trapezing through the forest. Like, what the fuck are y'all oh doing? God, calves. Look at her legs. Oh. Stunning mama. Literally, what's your jam routine? Uh, running around asking people questions. <laughs> And like the Halloween score behind mm -hmm. this is so good. Look, the Halloween score was one of my top listened to albums of the year. I'm just gonna say, you know. So. It's so good. It's just so iconic. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's when he gets her sneaking up on her. Like yeah, that. how are you gonna fucking do that? Ooh. Hate it. I could not. Sydney girl, like, what are you doing? She was going so fast. Mm. Oh, like, why did Sydney fucking run out in the road like that? Nev Campbell always looks her best when she is slathered in blood. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Nev is fucking cinched for the gods too, like. Mm. Like just oh and there's no keys. This just... is one of the scariest things to me because the idea of someone trying to kill you just at your car window. And they have the keys. But I feel like they, you know, did this little set piece in this movie and then when Scream 2 came around they liked doing this and mm -hmm. they said let's make it bigger and this is fucking just wicked as fuck wouldn't she notice though the she sound hear it. of the door opening or like the pressure changing yeah. in the car you yeah i mean you would feel the air coming she said and she wasn't she wasn't watching like how did she let her guard down like that 
<laughs> oh, oh god. And it's like, who do you trust? Oh! I wouldn't trust either of them, because Randy is kind of sketch. Imagine if she had given him the gun. You know. Well, he could have just taken it out of her hands just then, like... <laughs> Literally. She is a queen for that. <laughs> Fuck them both. You don't think you're safe with either of them? Sorry. I love that the blood made like a little heart on her cheek. I know. It's really cute. Oh, not this bitch. Not this fucking faux Oscar performance because like you're just fucking stupid for this. She just gives him the gun so willingly. I hate it. It's brainwashed. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> no, Billy! Honestly? Just like, that's probably who do you think you are? And he looks his hottest as right here. You're not fucking Norman, okay? You Andy think Bates. that you're that cool, but you're not that cool. Norman Bates wouldn't be this messy. No. Norman Bates would have made sure that everyone who needed to die, died. Anthony Perkins, psycho. Cue Natalie Portman clapping gif. Corn syrup. Give me a taste. Pig's blood <laughs> he doesn't deserve to evoke the name of Carrie White either. Because Carrie would eat his ass the fuck up. Mm -hmm. she Surprise, Sydney. Both of them are just little fuckheads. Literally. What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why are you doing this? It's all part of the game, Sydney. Cold guess I'm gonna die! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck him. And like the tininess of the kitchen. I know. It's For that huge ass house and the kitchen is so small. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god. They have to be touching. Skin on skin, baby. Mm -hmm. It's so sensual. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. You was fun. I just can't kill my mother. What? I just like they think that they're so fucking cool and funny and smart and they're not no they're really not like, like they're they ain't shit we're watching their downfall yeah. it's so pleasing it's amazing favor said that woman was a slut bag whore who flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone and so what because let's face it Sydney your mother was no Sharon Stone and neither are you bitch is that motive enough for you I feel like Billy thinks that he's this sexy, mysterious killer, and he's not. He's just a fucking little creepy fuckhead. I don't know, he's looking pretty good to me. Speak for yourself. Total abandonment causes serious deviant behavior. Certainly fucked you up and made you have sex with a psychopath. Gave it up. Now you're no longer a virgin. <laughs> he is so unserious. It's like scary. It's scary. It is. His comedy is what is so frightening. It's because this is a very dire situation with very real stakes, mm -hmm. and he is just taking it so unseriously that it's like the yeah. juxtaposition of like you're literally taking people's lives but you are actively joking about it the whole time well he's also so unhinged like what is your real motive like he has no real reason to be doing this that's why i'm like this boy is gay M mental illness and love you know, are his motive. It's giving Loeb and Leopold 100%. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will die on this hill. Mm -hmm. It's just like a history repeating itself. I just think that Stu, he wanted to be Billy's boo. Yeah, because Billy probably said, I'm not going to fuck you if you don't help me murder all these people. And Stu said, okay, baby. That's how I see it going down. There was a lot going down. Honey, that's how it would have went down with any boy in this situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's desperate. This is the greatest fun. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you, Sydney. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. Hold on a second. Wow, the way he just like titled the movie. I know. That is genius. It's unmatched. And he's still being so sensual mm -hmm. with her, and it's disgusting. Yeah. Daddy. Oh, it's Neil. Oh, look at this ring ring. Oh. Hi, sir. You came to watch the gay boys fuck? I was gonna say you came to watch Act 3, but <laughs> that works too. It's both. <laughs> this is Tate, and his favorite ghost face killer is Jill. Just Jill like the rest of us. Roberts. Yes. An American hero. 
right out of the movies. Actually, you can only be part of this family if Jill is your favorite, so we kick you out on the street if she's not. Jill, I'm ready, baby! Get it up! Get, get it up? Yeah. So we know what that means. Like, confirmed. Boner Literally, alert. why else would they put that in there? Like, I'm being serious. I think that it was, like, written. Like, Kevin Williamson, didn't he say that that could potentially be the implication? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely implied. They're literally penetrating each other. He said, get it up. That only means one thing, bitch. And you can really see her thinking, like, she's she like, what the fuck do I do? Mm -hmm. We're gonna carry on and plan the sequel, because let's face it, baby, these Honey. days, you gotta have a sequel. Mrs. Loomis God. said, you don't get to be in the fucking sequel. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos for creating Oh, he keeps stabbing him, so I'm confirmed. Baby, right? <laughs> Stu is a power bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It hurts, but he's taking it. You just gotta breathe, baby. You just gotta breathe through it all. So good. That was their mistake. It all goes downhill from here. God, man, the guy that put it right there. Where the fuck is it? Right here, mm. And then they take their eyes off of Sydney. Mm -hmm. Huge mistake. This is why they can't be at the top of the list to me. The reporter left for dead in the news van comes to. And you know, even mm. though stumbles on YouTube, dipshits, finds the gun, foils your plan, and saves the day. She fails oh, yeah. though, you know. Like obviously, it's such a joyous moment. And then she flops. She flops, but if she hadn't popped up and distracted them. Then Sydney, Sydney would have gotten away. Yeah. She would have been dead. That's what I'm saying. Like, they both stopped paying attention to Sydney. Like, and huge mistake. Why don't they kill her right then and there? Like, you, like... There's no reason to not just fucking shoot her head he off. He should have blown both her heads off yeah. right there. Yeah, and it does not make sense. Like, thank you, but... I mean, obviously. Just like, another whoa. reason that um, he's not the best killer. Baby, you're gonna love this. Uh, love what? Your flop? Oh, sweetie. Oh, and he's coughing up blood. Are you alone in the house? Mm. Mm. Bitch. She sure is. You bitch, where the fuck are you? Not so fast. We're gonna play a little game. It's called Guess Who Just Called the Police and Reported You. Sorry, motherfucking ass. Yeah. Um, it's Why so relieving. Get out of the I think I'm dying here, man. The way Die, he just... bitch. <laughs> the way he just continually turns more red and red mm -hmm. as the scene goes on. Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> oh, Stu, Stu, Stu. What's your motive? Billy's got one. The police are on their way. What are you going to tell them? Peer pressure. I'm far too sensitive. I'm going to rip you off, bitch! <laughs> it's like your fucking mother! Stu is not making it. Even if Sydney hadn't pushed a TV on his head, he would have bled out. She's so real for that. You the blood dripping from his mouth. Can you really call the police? Yeah, you're sorry, ass. Duh, boy. My mom and dad are And it's like, did you not think about that before? His hair is not greasy anymore. Yeah, he fucking washed it, apparently. Thank God. See, I, I he's kind of hot here. Like, I In finally see scenes, it. You know. It only took, what, an hour and 40 minutes? <laughs> Ooh, so fucking good. Oh, that has to hurt, too. Mm. Fucking Sydney. That reaction from him was real. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that she said that she actually hurt him. Yeah. Mm. I'm surprised he can even run. Mm -hmm. Can y'all just all leave her the fuck alone? In your dreams. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In your bye fucking bye. dreams. You're dead. Cold dreams. He's gonna be thinking about her in the afterlife. Yeah, and his fucking bug infested skull. Oh my god, that was bleeding. As he gets fucking buried. I don't know, I feel like he got cremated. Maybe. Hopefully. So that it doesn't really happen. No. Open oh, casket sorry. for the funeral, bitch. Everyone needs I to see you. Oh. Why does he keep bringing up the, her mom like he's obsessed? Oh. 
Ooh, Gail Weathers. She fingered the right guy. Guess I remember the safety that time, bastard. <laughs> Lesson learned. Ah, oh, this shot of her. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life for one last scare. <laughs> Do it again. Not in my movie. I fucking love that part. she says that. Dad. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god. Dewey arms. Farmer Stan, let's go. <laughs> we really deserve to see more of him this without a shirt. This is her shining moment. This is so iconic. No need to take a second to process everything. Straight to the story. Mm. Incredible. Wow. That was so good. Mm. Uh, Wes Craven. Like, honestly... My dad, my fucking hero. That man really did something with us. Oh my god, this rewatch of Scream has been so fun. Scream is like, really, it's the franchise that we watched when we first got together. Mm. So it's like, it holds a special place in our heart. It is so... It's just so timely, but also, like, everlasting. Yes, I have loved horror movies for a really, really long time, but I feel like once I got into the Scream franchise, that's kind of what took my love for the genre to, like, the next level. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, horror can be, like, funny, scary, and smart. Mm -hmm. Incredible. So, the first time I ever saw this movie, I was 10... Maybe. And I was at my dad's office, and the movie was playing. I was there alone. I, he was off doing work, but this was playing huh? on, like, cable. And I just remember being so scared for all the, the women, and I related them mm. to my mom. Mm. So that's what scared me most, was watching the women in this franchise be, like, so terrified and petrified that Ghostface really did scare me as a child. And, like, I didn't watch them... Again, after that, I like I didn't watch them for a very long time because it like truly scared the shit out of me. But now rewatching it, it's like wow! Like I remember watching this as a little child and being so petrified of it. Mm. I didn't watch it until college, so I was mm. never really scared. But I definitely, I'm sure I would have if I watched this as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just more interested in the way that the characters are written and like they're so mm -hmm. dynamic. They're interesting. They're clever. Mm -hmm. Like, it really does, like, draw you in. Like you were saying, the women especially, mm -hmm. you just feel like you have this instant connection to them. Right. You know them. You love them. And that is, I mean, it's really a credit to the writing, the directing, and the performances. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that all of those things, you know, shaped and mold what this became. Mm -hmm. But it's fucking incredible. Oh, it's it's so good. It's timeless. It's classic. Yeah. It's like it's crazy because you watch it and it's obviously so 90s, but mm -hmm. it never feels outdated. It right. still feels timely mm -hmm. and classic even though, you know, we don't have those big brick phones anymore and we're not alerting the police from our little dial-up <laughs> computer. Oh, but and sometimes when you see things like that in a movie or a show, it's like kind of cringe, mm -hmm. like, "Oh, this is like you know, this is yeah. way, you know, old or whatever, mm -hmm. but that's it's not how screen feels. No, it's never really dated, you know. Dated, that's the word I was mm -hmm. looking for, yeah. But, wow, we, we're so happy that we are now on our Scream yes. series. Down in the comments, let's talk Scream. We want to know your thoughts. We're so excited to continue on into our rewatch, and we hope that you... Stay screaming. Yes, and uh, we also want to know who you think is the hottest person in this movie. Oh, genuinely my curious. God. Like, pick one. If I had to pick one, it would be Deputy Dewey. Same. I couldn't stop thinking about him. He's just the whole so movie. cute. He's cute. He's hot. He's sexy. It's everything. Yeah, he's cute and he's sexy he's at the same time. Encompassing. Okay? Mm. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to Petty Pumpkins. Yes, please do. Also follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins. We want to spill the tea with you. Thank y'all so very much for watching. We love y'all. Stay spooky. Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, 
I'm not into short guys. 